All right, today with Inventor, we're looking at figure 560, the slide. Uh, so the way we're going to construct this one, I'm going to make a full solid block and do quite a bit of subtractive modeling to create this uh, create this piece. So I'm going to create a width of 6.5 and a height of 1.75. Don't let this trick you, because I have some students that want to add 0.5 to 1.75 and another 0.5, so then you get 2 and a quarter. But this 1.75 is it. That is the full height of that. So over here in Inventor, we will do a new standard inch IPT. Uh, be sure to save it right away. And when you save this, save it to your Inventor packet. That'd be fine. Let's just go ahead and call this one um, slide. Probably could have been four, but whatever. Just call the slide. All right, so we're going to do a 2D sketch. I'm going to choose the XY plane. I'm just going to draw a box, actually. You can use a line tool if you want. Box a little quicker. And it is six inches wide by about, what is it, 1.75. So I have 6.5, actually, and 1.75. Is that correct? Yes, okay. All right, so that's my first basic shape. Now I will finish that sketch and also extrude. My extrusion for my depth from front to back is 3.5. Alright, so now I'm going to make a series of different subtractive sketches or subtractive modeling extrusions here. So I'm going to do another 2D sketch over on this side. And now I'm going to focus on this little bottom channel that's being cut out. So it is 0.5 from the top it is 2 inches wide and 0.75 from the side. So the easiest thing here is going to be to draw a rectangle, the snap right to the bottom edge, dimension it from the edge to the side here, which is 0.75, and then that is supposed to be 2. And from top to bottom, we have another, or 0.5 this time. All right. Check mark it, go ahead and do an extrude. We're going to do a cut to all. All right. Now I'm going to do another 2D sketch on that same side. Now this time I'm going to put two rectangles up here in a corner. I'm going to go one on this side. I'm going to go one on this side. Try not to snap in anything that already exists because sometimes that gets a little confusing. So just avoid that black line that's going across here. All right. So now I have these are going to be, what is this? 0.5 depth but 0.75 wide. So 0.5 for my depth, 0.75 wide, 0.5 depth, 0.75 wide. And extrude that. I finished the sketch. Now I'm going to extrude both these surfaces at one time and I cut for all. All right, so the next thing that we will do is create, let's see, let's do file, not file, I meant 2D sketch. I'll we'll create those holes that are on the top. Let's look here, we have two holes that are one inch diameter and they're 1.38 from the sides and 3.75 from each other. So let's do this, let's go here, I'm gonna flip this around. Now we're not placing circles and extruding them, we're placing points. So I'm gonna place a point that's here and also here. Now I'm going to dimension these. I know that from here from the side is supposed to be 1.38 and then my distance from the next center that was what? 3.75 I think? Yep, 3.75. Alright, so now we're not positive that these, that these are directly in the center so we need to also place a dimension from here to the edge and we know if our full total depth is 3.5, we can do 3.5 divided by 2. And that'll put it directly down the middle. And there we go. Now they're both purple, like we want them, meaning it's fully constrained. I can check mark this. I'm going to use the hole function. I may or may not recognize both of them. Yep, it did. So I have both of those, and these are 1 inch diameter. So go ahead and hit OK. And then there you have it. Alright, pause and go back if you do need to. 
in the next part, in part two, we will be creating a sheet with dimensions out of this.